when we create things with technology, I usually start with um, what do you value? And I talk to students. I have everybody go around and say three things that they value. Um, and sometimes you hear people say things similar to what you value, and sometimes you hear things that are different, and both are okay. And this is something that I explain. Um, and I also just ask people to remember that when we create things with technology, our values are inherently embedded into that technology, um, into that software, to that website, whatever it is that we create. And we need to be aware that people are going to take on these values when they use the technology. So then when you think about things like facial recognition, um, so there's actually somebody in the Media Lab, her name is Joy, she works on bias in um, algorithms, but specifically with facial recognition. So when most facial recognition software was created, it was created by white men. And so they did a lot of their testing on white men. And Joy was working on a project in a class called SciFab that I'm actually taking now. Um, it's a, sci a sci-fi fabrication class. Um, she was trying to make an uh, Aspire mirror where you look in the mirror and it gives you different um, affirmations, but the facial recognition software wouldn't recognize her skin. Um, it wasn't until she took like a literal white mask, like a Halloween mask, and put it on her face that the system recognized her face. And so what she realized is that this software doesn't work on her because it hasn't been tested on her people who look like her. Um, and that's something that happens across technology. People are not training things on a diverse group of people, and it may not have been intentional. Um, when you think about people that you're friends with, um, you might just talk to the people around you all the time and then go to a different group and assume that they know what you're talking about. And that might not be true. And so looking at bias um, in technology, it's really, a, it's really important to be aware of what you're not aware of and making sure that you're reaching out to different groups of people. And if you don't know those groups of people, ask for help uh, because you want to make sure that your technology works for everybody and not just one group of people. The work that I do, Randy, and Joy. Um, they're different, but they're very similar. So like, I'm more in the education space and working with educators. Like, okay, this is how you create an equitable learning space for these girls so that they can end up creating things so that they're not afraid to do that. And then Randy is like working with the robots and she's like teaching them um, about AI and what that means. And then Joy is working um, at the top level, like with the government and um, things like that. So that's it's really cool to see the different stages of it.